Welcome anyone and everyone, it's me, Maggie Weep, and Sloth Mama. Hello! And we are here with the next episode. Today, as you can tell by the title, we will be having a wedding. But first, it is time for Brody and Beulah's birthday into young adults and to ship them out. Ooh. So we shall do that before it is wedding time because we have to wait till nighttime for the wedding since... Both the bride and groom and many of the guests are vampires. Mm -hmm. So, we got plenty of time until the wedding. Do you have a house picked out for him? I have several houses made. I haven't picked out one for Brady, but I have one picked out for Beulah. Okay. I hope I approve. You've seen it. <laughs> there he goes. All right, let's see. What he, should we randomize his trait? Sure. Ooh. Hot-headed? That doesn't fit him. No. Foodie? Nope. Neat. Okay, yeah, we can go, go with neat. <laughs> we didn't like them other ones. Not for our baby Brody. There he goes. Now let's put the candles back on. Like them babies back up. All right. Your turn, <gasps> Beulah. Come on, girl. Our only girl. human. Yeah. So far. So far. There she goes. And let's see where hers is. No. Slob, no. Squeamish. I could see her being squeamish. She could be squeamish, yeah. Yeah. She's so pretty. There they go. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's put this cake back in the fridge and we can use it another time. <laughs> Because we don't need to keep making hundreds of cakes. No. As long as it stays fresh, we'll be good. Yep. So, they are ready to move out. And if you missed the last episode, we have some new additions to the family. <laughs> little Demetria here. With her tiny little fangs. <laughs> as well as her twin, Dorian. The second little boy. Can't who, see him that well. He's got his head down. Who Victoria had. Yes, Victoria had them. And we also have our first grandbaby. Mm-hmm. Because? Because Amelia, the one who's having the wedding, she had a baby before the wedding, little Lyle. So that's where we are. We're going to mm -hmm. ship these guys out. So let's get them... We're going to save and go to manage worlds. Oh, no, no, no. We can't leave yet. We can't leave yet. We need their adult pictures. Oh. Okay, let's change her outfit into her regular one. There you go. Now, I need you to stop talking to the toddler. Just for a minute. Yep. And get their pictures. Take a photo of Brady. Because we have a wall over here with pictures. Mm -hmm. Here's the pictures mm -hmm. of the first twins. Oh, Oop. oh, great, uh. great shot, great shot. <laughs> Try again. Let's get Beulah out of the way. All right, Beulah's out of the way. Don't you go anywhere. Take a photo of Brady. There we go. Ah, good one. I was going to suggest that. There we go. We're going to make it medium size. I'm going to take all five just in case. That is a good photo right there. Now Beulah. Take a photo of Beulah. Yeah. Come on, Beulah. Smile pretty. There you go. There she goes. <laughs> You'll flip her around. Yeah, see? It looks better that way, don't you think? Yep. There Yay. she goes. That's a good picture, too. You go, Beulah. There we go. Good pictures. All right, let's hang them up.
Here's Brody's and Beulah's. We'll give them frames. There we go. I like that. Looking good. And we have a baby daddy lined up that she has to meet. So when they move out, we will have some more babies popping in. Mm -hmm. Alright, well Beulah's got a place to go. And I have places available for Brody. I haven't picked one out yet. Well, pick one. All right. <laughs> so let's now we can go to Manage Worlds. Yep. And move them out. Get Beulah in her house, and pick a house for Brody. Yes. All right. Let's split these guys up. We're going to move out Beulah first because we know where she's going. We can give her a thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at her posing. <laughs> let's move her into her home. She will be living in Evergreen Harbor in this house that I built for her, Canal Corner. We're going to do mother uh, free real estate. Free real estate on. And she shall be moving in here and help clean up the area. Because she could go out during the day. Yep. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. <laughs> and I will be playing them off screen. So I will give updates on how they are doing. And where's some of the other houses you have for Brody? Okay, I have another house in Willow Creek, right here. Okay. And then I have one in Newcrest, which I did in a video, in two videos actually. Mm-hmm. And um, where else have I done one? I have one that's not finished in Brindleton Bay, this mansion. Oh my lord. The mansion's not finished yet. I'm still furnishing it. I don't know that he needs all that by himself right now. No, he doesn't. So I think we put him in the one at Willow Creek. What do you think? Let me look at it again. This one. Okay. Alright, let's go get him. Go get him. Because we can save that mansion for, like, if some of them move out yeah. together. You know. The triplets. The triplets aren't going to be together. Well, I don't know. Semi. Yeah, so one, if she has a fancier child. <laughs> I'm going to give him a thousand. Yep. There we go. And the triplets will be aging up and moving out next. May I interject? What? I forgot she wanted to give those candles out. I had her um, off screen give them all candles. Oh, okay. But thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. All right, Brody. <laughs> welcome to your new home. Well, not he's not there yet. <laughs> okay. Now, welcome to your new home. And you better have some babies to fill that house up. Yep, you got a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She will be aging up soon. She can have her move in. Yep. And he's not far from some of his siblings. Mm-hmm. All right, we did a little time skip to when it's nighttime. Or nighttime-ish. So that we can set up the wedding and they don't burn. Mm-hmm. Because I'm pretty sure the sun's going down. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's the sun. When's the sun go down? Oh, this is a pretty shot, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Taking a picture. You know, lighthouse? Is that a lighthouse over there? It's oh, yeah. pretty. All right, well, maybe we do have to wait a little bit longer. Well, it's, you can see the shape, uh, whatever. Yeah. Shadows. Hmm. Well, we can still plan the wedding party. Yeah. Yeah, set stuff up, whatnot. Are they going to do it here? No, we're going to do it um, 
at my Schooner Meadows because mm-hmm. it's already set up. Okay. I should build a wedding venue. Mm-hmm. Mm, she knows a lot of people. Yep. Well, this is um, Milo's brother and mother. Mm-hmm. That's her friend, her brother, her sisters, her sisters. Her dad, her mom, her future sister-in-law. That's her aunt. I guess we should invite her. Yeah, why not? Hire a caterer. We don't need to hire a mixologist or a musician. And where is it? I think it's like the last option. Oh, no, because there's community spaces now. There it is. And we'll do it at 8. Because the sun should definitely be down then. Mm-hmm. Oh, they have very little money now. Oh. Somebody better hit the lottery. Get working. Well, we can get her a job now that she's not pregnant anymore. Right. What are her skills? What'd she like to do? Oh, well, she's... She's funny. Yeah, she doesn't have any remarkable skills. No, not really. She could just get a part-time something or other, or yeah. freelance something. Mm-hmm. A barista. Let's see. Let's just have her go into business, because that's, you know, pretty, pretty wide open kind of thing. Ambiguous, that's mm-hmm. the word I was going for. There we go, she's in business. There, is there a reason why she's at the level she is in business? What level is she at? I don't know. Oh, level three. Because they usually start as a mail clerk or something yeah. in the mail room. She's an assistant to the manager. So something got her there, her yep. skills. Her skills, I guess. Go, girl. Good choice, Meg. And what level is he? He's level one, I believe. Yeah. He's a scientist. He's going to do science things. Yep. Oh, look. There's Beulah. Mm-hmm. Where is she going? As long as she's coming in. She's, in, she's on their property. She's in the yard. Oh, this isn't set as the front door. Mm. Is it now? I just said it as the front door now. Okay. What door have they been going to? Mm. Is there another door? That one. Mm. Mm. Guess that's the one they're coming to. What you doing, Beulah? Take the wrong way around. Oh, she's gonna go swimming. What is she doing? I don't know. She's she's coming to here, and then Come she's on. gonna realize that it's the wrong door <laughs> and go back around. Is she gonna go through the? Why she went through the pool when she could have just come up the grass? And then she was just Let's following. Let's invite her in. And then she's just following the the pathway. pathway. Yeah. Think outside the box, Beulah. <laughs> Oh, she's reading her nephew a story. <laughs> oh, you cute. Don't read him anything scary. Your little sister's here. <laughs> she is somehow burning even though it is 8 o'clock at night. Yeah, what's up with that? What you just hit? It's time for the wedding. Oh. And I've got to give formal wear to everybody, so we're going to have some interesting looks. Eh, that's okay. It's all right. Let's get them to take a wedding picture. We're going to take a photo with, and we're going to take it with Milo, who's apparently got a ring rings on that mess up his eyelashes. Mm. How would you like that happen? 
It dresses him. It's also got earrings on. Oh, you didn't dress him? No. So we're gonna have a very interesting wedding portrait. I know he's got dangly earrings too. Oh, Meg. Why are you saying like I did it? <laughs> She's also got a pimple on her nose. Nice. Have a pimple for your wedding. Mm. Oh, I did Beulah's uh, form of wear analysis. And little Lyle's. Mm -hmm. Oh, and apparently Brody's. That's so I did a couple. Right? Yeah, I thought you did form aware form. Not all of them. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get married. Did you make, sure I'm did you make this lot? No. There we go. <laughs> Him with all his rings on. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's people sitting. Who are you? Oh, that's Coraline. Yeah, your dad got drunk before the wedding. That's why he's got all his bling on. Yeah, out of the way. I know. Jeez. Gosh, Coral. Mm. Uh, Cornelia. Yay. They are married. There you go. There you go to fireworks. And she's dancing to the fireworks. Who's the white haired man? Right here? Mm -hmm. That's Miles, his brother. Oh, okay. There's Victoria in her outfit. Ooh. Looking glam. Isn't she? Sparkling. All the pretty fireworks. Pretty, pretty. Oh, is that the Aurora Borealis? <gasps> yeah. Oh. It's the Aurora Borealis. Is that because of the wedding? No, it's um because eco living, eco lifestyle. Mm. It's something random, huh? Dad's There's pretty. her father. Mm -hmm. Look at them all looking. Mm. I don't think you should be that close to it. Probably not. But they're Sims. Yep. Alright, do we have a caterer that's made a cake? Oh, look, here comes a little Lyle. Oh, look at him. A little bow legged. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. Wait for me, mommy. You're a little late, buddy. Yeah. Have betrothed kiss. Come here, Milo. Kiss your wife. Let's see. Kiss. Oh, apparently this neighborhood is green. That's why there's the Roy Borealis. Mm. Come on, kiss so we can get the thingy. There you go. They have some drinks and a cake. Yep. Did somebody make a cake? We're supposed to have a caterer. I do not see one. You have to turn. They don't show up. I see pots. They could be left over from the last wedding. Yeah. Whenever that was. Well, I think one of your people. Maybe and there's no the bartender. Yeah. There should be one. Because it should just come with a lot. Yeah. Oh, here's the bartender. Oh, nope. He disappeared. He disappeared. Yay. Well, at least we're already gold. Yeah, so. 
The rest is just icing on the cake. Yep. I mean, you're not going to get any more for it. No. So. Whatever. And there's a beetle who just moved out. <laughs> he just Let's have around. little Lyle meet some of his aunts. Come talk to Aunt Beulah. <laughs> He's gonna meet Aunt Beulah. Oh, there's the caterer. There she is. She not doing? in the kitchen. I don't know. So what's she doing out here? Can you go fix the cake out oh, here? Meet Aunt Beulah. Aww. He's dancing. And time to meet her. And her. What? You evidently didn't give them any. <laughs> huh? You didn't give them any formal wear. No, no, I didn't. We can easily tell who did and didn't get formal wear. <laughs> Going around no. giving everybody hugs. Don't hug the caterer because she needs to make a cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she's out and here. hug Grandpa. Oh, hug Grandpa. New friends and oh. charmed. <laughs> Go hug Grandpa. There he goes. I wish they would just know all of their family when they're born. Yeah. That would make more sense. Mm -hmm. She's talking to her sister. <laughs> You look so pretty. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the wedding's only half over. Oh my goodness. Nobody's doing much. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't control the caterer and the bartender. No. And they're not doing what they're supposed to be. Well, the bartender doing. left. The caterer is not doing anything. No, she's out there chit chatting when she's supposed to be baking a cake. It's a wedding. What we got going on up here? Not much. People just hanging around. Painting, apparently. <laughs> oh, you need to meet Grandma. There she is. And then she ran right by him. And now he's mad. He's tired. We'll meet Uncle Brody. And where'd Grandma go? There she is. I don't care if you're tired, share the love anyway. That's right. Come on, share the love. Oh, he refused to hug him. <gasps> Brody! Oh, nasty! Hug Grandma. Oh, she hugged him. That is his little nephew. And now he's got negative with him. <gasps> I guess so. Aww. Brody, and smack him in the head. What is your deal, Brody? He's got a pimp on his nose, too. Well, that ain't his fault. <laughs> Aw, how could he not hug the little guy? Look at his precious little cell. He's, He's exhausted. Yeah. He's gonna fall out somewhere. It's been a big day for him. Look at his Aww. little cell. He's tired and Uncle Brody won't hug him. <laughs> well, I think we could just call the wedding here. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to score any higher. Gold medal. <laughs> well, I think it's time we all head home. Everybody head home. Do whatever you gotta go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> There you go. Everybody's off. Oh, she's got the little guy. She's <laughs> just running with him. Oh, let me see. Let me go run. <laughs> Look, Aww. he's smiling. Oh, Look, he's looking at his mommy. He loves his mommy. That's so cute. <laughs> Alright, we are back. And it has apparently snowed a plenty while they were at the wedding. There's a little guy. 
Oh, apparently he had his own juice. <laughs> he was prepared. These two are very flirty. And it is their wedding night, so they should have a little wedding woohoo. Mm-hmm. We're just going to woohoo. Because they just had a baby. Yep. Don't need no she yet. likes this room. She's always up here playing chess. <laughs> she was funny climbing down, didn't she? <laughs> or did you speed her up? I sped her up. Yeah. <laughs> there they go. Go on now. Yeah, they're getting time. It's cold and the sun's going to be coming up. I know you got like 20 minutes before the sun comes up. Let's make sure the little... Oh, he <gasps> fell. Come out on the porch. Oh. Right in the foyer. Oh, in the foyer. Oh, okay. Well, long as he's inside. He'll be all right. He ain't cute. His little honey stuck up in the air. He fell asleep in the foyer. Oh. He needs to go. Where's enough. Alice? She's up here watching. Alice. Alice. Don't be a freak. Oh, my. She's just smiling. What is wrong with you, Alice? I know. Go to your own room. You freak. Mm. This girl's a freak. She's a nut job. All right. Well, on that disturbing scene, let's leave this here. Mm-hmm. How'd she get that in here so quick? She's a vampire. Well, fair enough. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave this episode here. Thank you, anyone, everyone, for watching. We have gotten a lot done this episode. Brody mm -hmm. and Beulah both grew up and moved out into their own respective homes. Mm -hmm. Amelia and Milo got married in a little nighttime celebration. Yeah. And, I mean, that's, that's it. That took up time. Yep. And maybe next time, Victoria will meet her next baby daddy. Yep, we have a baby daddy picked out and lined up. She's just got to meet him. And woohoo. And boom, e-babies. <laughs> so, don't forget to hit the like button. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps grow the channel. As the sharing the video that also helps grow the channel. What are you embarrassed about? Cannot unsee. Well, you're the one that walked in on them. Yeah, it was their room. Yeah, you're you're the one that walked in. That's on you. Okay. Um, hit the notifications to be notified whenever I upload another video. Mm-hmm. And that is all. Oh. Upload any baby daddies that you have to the gallery under the hashtag MeggieReap100. We have yet to have any baby daddies put up under that hashtag, so. Come on! So, somebody be the first. Come on! Somebody be the first. You're a guarantee. Yep. You're the first one. You're guaranteed to be used. Yep. Come on. Bring on the baby daddies. Yep. Bring them on. So, oh, somebody's calling him. I'll surely miss you when you're gone. That's disturbing. I'm not sure what that's about. That sounds vaguely like a threat. Yeah. Anyway, on that threatening note, mm -hmm. we're going to say goodbye now. So, bye! bye.